Are you struggling with algebra that uses letters like X? In this video, we will learn a trick to solve basic algebraic equations quickly and easily. Before we get started, you should be familiar with inverses or opposites. For example, the inverse of addition is subtraction and the inverse of multiplication is division. So the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4, and the opposite of multiplying by 5 is dividing by 5. But with that in mind, you're ready to learn the trick. Here we go! equation 3 equals 2 plus 5x. We want to view the 3, the 2, and the 5x as coins on a desk, but with 3 on the left hand side and both 2 and 5x on the right hand side. The goal is to get the coin with the x on it all by itself. This is pretty easy, since we can just slide the 2 coin across the desk to the left hand side. The only rule we need to follow is to flip the coin to its opposite when we cross the center of the desk. So on the right hand side, the coin shows 2, but when we slide it to the left hand side, the coin gets flipped to show negative 2. And that's basically it. The problem is nearly solved already. On the left hand side, we have 3 minus 2, which is simply the number 1. And on the right hand side, we have the 5x coin all by itself. Once we have the coin with the x on it all by itself, all we have left to do is divide the number off of it. So we divide the entire equation by 5 to find that 1 fifth equals x. And that's it. We found the secret value of x, which is 1 fifth. And we can see that 1 fifth is truly the value of x, since 3 does equal 2 plus 5 times 1 fifth. Let's work through a few examples. Solve for x if 4x plus 7 equals 10. We want the 4x coin by itself, so we slide the 7 coin from the left hand side of our desk to the right hand side. When the coin flips, it becomes negative 7. Now we're almost done. We see that 4x equals 10 minus 7, which is equal to 3. Dividing the entire equation by 4, we see that x is equal to 3 over 4, 3 fourths. That's it. Let's try another example. Solve for y if 25 minus 5y equals 10. We want the minus 5y coin all by itself. So we slide the 25 coin to the right hand side and flip it to negative 25. We find that negative 5y equals 10 minus 25, which is equal to negative 15. In dividing by negative 5, we get y equals 3. Let's try this again another way. If we prefer the minus 5y coin to be positive, we can move it to the right hand side but then we have to move the 10 coin to the left hand side. In doing this, we see that 15 equals 5y. Dividing the entire equation by 5, we again find that 3 equals y, or y equals 3. <laughs> Let's try one more example. Solve for a if 2 times a plus 1 equals 14. 
This time, the 2 times a plus 1 is like a dollar bill. We'd like to make change for it so that we can use the coin trick. This isn't difficult because we can just distribute the 2 onto both the a and the 1. Doing this, we get 2a plus 2 is equal to 14. And now we have our coins. We have a 2a coin and a 2 coin on the left hand side. And we have a 14 coin on the right hand side. Let's move the 2 coin to the right hand side and flip it to negative 2. This way, 2a equals 14 minus 2, which is equal to 12. Finally, we divide the 2 away and find that a equals 6. <laughs> and that's it! I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like as it helps support this channel. And please feel free to comment any questions below. Also, i love to hear what topics you'd like to see next. A discussion about informal math versus formal math is scheduled for next Tuesday at 2. Hope to see you there!